So today's video is a different one and it is about Minecraft but a game that I've been playing for quite a while now. So hey it's me Mike Kipirian and it's been a while so how's it going guys right? <laughs> but anyway so well I want to talk about this game that I've been playing for the past couple of months and I know that I have left Minecraft behind recently. Well the reason why is I already have like more than 300 hours in this game surprisingly and this game is called Medieval Dynasty. Yeah I'm into it. Are you gonna admit it? So, well, it's not a new game, but it's been out there for more than a year now in early access and some of you might already have played this game. And it's also set to full release on the 23rd of this month, which is very cool and also the reason why I wanted to post this video because I wanted to have some sort of like a closure in this particular world that I've been playing and I'm about to show you in this video. So, well, after that, of course, I'm also gonna start a new world. A new one when the full version of the game came to release so the first part of this video of course uh, let me give some sort of like my own review of the game and then after that I will give you a tour of my village just to you know brag about the things that I've been doing for the past couple of months yeah I did a lot of hard work on this one so Medieval Dynasty is a life simulation game in the first person view with the uh, survival and city building aspects into it. And it's a very interesting mix, especially for me. I really like uh, city building games when I was young from Caesar 3 back in the late 90s to the uh, city skylines uh, from a couple of years ago, which are top selling games back in time. So with that city building and city management game style, instead of playing them uh, in the bird's eye view, in this game, in Medieval Dynasty, you have your feet on the ground with a first-person first perspective. And I remember back in the days that, uh, well, Pepper Ridge remembers, uh, when I was trying to imagine what would be like to be a citizen in the city that I'm building. And now Render Cube, uh, who is the developer of this game, uh, put this city-building game into a first-person game, which is for me, it's a really perfect mix. And although, although the game is not yet that perfect, I know it's still in early access, there are still some visual uh, visual glitches and some FPS drops and I think uh, there still need some improvements in terms of like the balancing in the game progression. But overall, I really like the game because, well, city building in a first person perspective is something really new out there, right? And more about the gameplay, so the setting of the game is of course in the medieval ages, uh, which is the ambience is really really awesome and it feels like kind of similar to the Kingdom Come Deliverance when it was released, it was actually uh, you know uh, such a beautiful game uh, in terms of like the uh, the environment uh, where you're actually playing it. And uh, But on this one, it's kind of similar to Kingdom Come Deliverance, actually a lot of people are actually comparing this game to Kingdom, Kingdom Come Deliverance, but the difference is that, well this is not totally quest driven although there are quests in the game but it's not that really emphasized into the gameplay so it's not really an rpg game although it also has some sort of like an rpg aspect uh, in terms of like uh, the progression of your skills and all of those stuff and as well as the technology but i think those aspects are more into like the city building game which is i also really 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 uh, enjoy uh, in terms of like doing the resource management and as well as you know uh, making the progressions because this creates like an enticement in order for you to achieve something greater uh, in your you know I mean in your city building game or something like that I mean at least in playing medieval dynasty right so it really interests me and uh, what I also like about this game is also the freedom it's kind of similar to like well, I cannot really compare it to the sandbox game like Minecraft, but this one is also has a, that degree of freedom that you're, you're, you're not really pressured to finish a certain quest in a certain time. It's actually optional. It's up to you if you're going to take up some, some of those quests. Although I wish that the developers could think of a way, an alternative for you to gain a dynasty reputation because the dynasty reputation is also important in the game because that will also gain your, um, your population. I mean, people will actually uh, be encouraged, not really encouraged, but you can actually invite people to be your settlers in your village. But you also need uh, dynasty reputation in order for you to get more villagers uh, into your village. So that's also one aspect of hopefully, uh, well, the developers could also think uh, and some alternatives in order for you to get some of those um, dynasty reputation, right? What I really like about the game is the immersion, like any other games that I spend most time playing. Well, immersion is what really impresses me in a game. If a game can actually give me that experience to be outside of reality, well, I could give that game a five star considering the tiny details and as well as the NPCs and also the overall aesthetics. 
But for medieval dynasties, I mean, the world is really gorgeous and it can actually give you that relaxing experience and even like relaxing experience in the medieval times. Well, it's kind of weird, but you know how primitive life uh, back in that days or in that particular era, although we haven't experienced that, but at least it can actually, uh, you know, experience that in medieval dynasty. Although, although the NPCs in this game is, uh, well, it still needs some improvement and well, I hope they can actually add more, uh, how do you call this, uh, versatility in terms of like uh, NPCs and have like an, a more intelligent AI uh, for the NPCs to like interact with you, although it's very limited as of now, but hopefully the developers could also improve this in the future. And yeah, I mean, well, what I really like about the game is the environment. I mean, the environment is really beautiful. For me, the developers uh, did a job well done using the Unreal Engine 4 and what more if they actually use unreal engine 5 that would be totally exciting and i would i can't wait if they're going to upgrade this game or if possibly if they're going to make like medieval dynasty 2 and they can have a more updated unreal engine that would be great so more about the gameplay like any survival games there's research gathering like chopping wood mine for stones mine for ores dig 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 and all of those stuff where we're all familiar with and in the game they actually call it extraction for some reason and then you have hunting and foraging for food in the beginning of the game and there comes farming which is basically you already see the progression it's very similar to minecraft and other survival games but aside from that there's also animal husbandry where you can actually harvest their produce like wool milk uh eggs this is very similar to Minecraft, as I can see. But one thing that is really different is the manure that you can actually use as fertilizers, right? And also, if your animals got overcrowded, you can actually sell them as livestock for extra money. And also, crafting. I don't really have to elaborate about crafting. You already see where we are going. But the most interesting part of this game is actually building your settlements and your workshops because these particular buildings has actually interactions with your NPCs and I mean your villagers and as well as your animals and of course your crops and all of those stuff. So this is actually gives like a, you know a symbiotic relationship in order for you to manage well your uh, your village or your town. Which is yeah, that is something that I really highlight from the beginning. Which is uh, this. That's why I really wanted to call this uh, like a city building game in a first person perspective which is something that is really unique and i think it's just the first time that it has been done in the gaming scene right so yeah i mean that's currently my review so far and hopefully the developers i mean this game is still young and i think it still has a lot of potentials and one thing that i would also like to highlight is that this game is so underrated and, and i can only see a few people playing this game which is kind of sad though i mean this game is really good and I think it deserves some attention to many players out there that, well, I mean, that's why this video is all about why you should consider playing uh, Medieval Dynasty, which is basically, you should. I mean, you should try it. I mean, at least give it a try. If you're going to be happy about the game, well, well be happy about it. But if not, well, sorry for your money. So that's it for now for my review and hopefully you learned something new and let me know in the comments what you think about Medieval Dynasty. If you want this type of content, please also let me know down there and also if you want me to play other games, please also write it down below. So I'm just gonna leave you guys some footages around my village because like I said, it's gonna be the last time that you're gonna be seeing it and I'm going to restart a new game once the game has released it fully the version 1.0 whatsoever right so i'll see you guys next time